gentlemen, we've done the impossible because the impossible is not us. We didn't prove the existence of a simulated universe, nor did we resurrect the dead internet. We didn't even get a Stan Lee hologram to make a cameo in this video. We didn't do, we didn't do any of that. I still think we should have got the Tupac hologram like everyone else. I'm just saying, we should have got the Tupac hologram. It would have been a lot easier on all of us if we got the, just say, Tupac. Michael Valley up in this. Whatever. 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 What we did do, gentlemen, so much better. We created, and cheers to all of you, to my esteemed artist, my esteemed motherfucking editor, we created a comic book better than Watchmen, better than freaking Batman, who's better than everybody else in the space and time continuum. We created a freaking comic book. We did, and we made 50, 50, 50, 50 racks on Kickstarter. Just don't tell my baby mama about that. Don't tell her. She don't need to know about that. But we made 50 racks. I thought we made $50,000. The racks thing kind of confuses me. I thought we made $50,000. Did we make $50,000? Was that a tier, this rack thing that I didn't know about? I thought we made $50,000. Now y'all hush and appreciate my brilliance. Appreciate the brilliance of me for bringing you and you together with me for this moment of greatness. That's all I'm saying. Just appreciate me for bringing us together for this moment of greatness. Wait, 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 wait. The reviews, the reviews are in. The reviews are in. I, I see them on my phone. The reviews are in. The reviews are in? Great. Shower me with praise and love. Shower me with praise and love for writing the greatest comic book ever. Like, the greatest comic book ever. That's what, I did that. Like, my pen game is greater than Jay-Z's pen game, and he doesn't even write comic books. But if Jay-Z wrote comic books, I would still be better than him. I would be better than Nas. In fact, this is, in fact, this is my ether to the comic book industry. Like, fuck everybody else. I'm great. Fuck everybody else. This is my ether. I hear the beat in my head. Like, people are in fear and awe of me for writing this comic book opus. Just saying. It's my ether. That indie comics guy, he said the book is trash. And the art and everything looks like doo-doo. Like, he said, if you back this book, you should ask for your money back. Can they do that? I'm so confused. Can they do that? Can they ask for their money back if the book is trash? Like, he has a whole video and everything, like, just ripping it apart. Like, super trash, in his words. Yeah, and he also said whoever wrote this book should get their ass kicked. By a gang of virgin SJW zombies. He said that shit. You gonna get your ass kicked by a gang of virgin SJW zombies. That shit gonna happen. That shit gonna happen. What? What the hell? Virgin 
SJW zombies are not a thing. And I know Vita Iola lives amongst us. She she lives amongst us or whatever. Next you're gonna tell me we have non binary zombies walking among us. I don't know. Man, fuck that indie comics guy. I never liked him anyway. He's like a bootleg old ripper looking ass motherfucker. Like, fuck him. Fuck that indie comic book guy. You haven't seen the video, have you? You haven't seen the video, huh? Well, his video where he was reviewing our shit, it got over 9,000 views. See, I knew he was going to say that, like, Dragon Ball Z references is how he relates to life. I knew he was going to say that. I, I, I knew he was going to say that. You, say, you said it's my fault that the book is trash? Now, if you didn't write this bullshit, we, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. It's not my fault. Your ass wrote it. Your ass edited it. Edited it dead. Whatever the fuck you did to it. I think you just did a spell check and that's it. I don't know. It, it ain't my fault. That's all I'm saying. It's not my fault. All I did was check for grammar and spelling and all these things you public school kids don't seem to know about. Like, it's not my fault. I was homeschooled. Don't blame me. We're smarter than you and those prissy ass pup up. Uh, those prissy ass Private school kids. Homeschool kids for life. For life. You know what? He's right. You. You drew this. Piece of shit. Like. You fucked up my masterpiece. You you drew this piece of shit. Like. There was no storyboarding. No storytelling. You just drew whatever the hell you want. There's like. Ten panels on one page. Like. What the fuck? Who does that? I did not have that in my my fucking script. Like, you fucked us up. You fucked us. Look, all I'm saying is, you wrote this bullshit. Who wants to read a comic book about a white dude living in a trailer park in Detroit who gains superpowers and then, and this is the kicker, he gotta prove himself among all the superpowered homies, black homies. Like all the superpower black homies and the homies that don't even have powers. He got to prove himself. Until he becomes a god among them. This don't sound familiar to none of y'all. Like, I'm just saying. Like, you wrote this. This doesn't sound familiar to you. This whole story. White dude. Hang around a bunch of black people. Got to prove itself to be the best. That don't sound familiar to you at all. Like, what the hell went through your head when you wrote this? Come to think of it, the whole thing does sound like 8 Mile. Like, you literally wrote Eminem's life and gave him superpowers. It's definitely a ripoff of 8 Mile now that I think about it. I had time to process it. The whole thing, I processed it. That was me. You, you fucked up. Not me. Not him. Well, he did kind of fucked up, but it's mostly you. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. I'm not taking the fall for this. If anybody's taking the fall for this, it's you and you. Both of y'all are taking the fall for this. Not me. This is not 8 Mile. This is Super Mile. Totally different concept. And Super Mile is still the greatest comic book ever. Kiss my ass. I don't care. I don't want to talk to y'all no more. Either one of y'all. Don't want to talk to y'all. We did make 50 racks. I don't want anybody to forget that. We did make 50 racks off this. We made 50 racks off this. Do not forget that. Do not lose sight of that. We did make that 50 racks. Racks on racks on racks. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to pay them. We're going to pay them all. My question is who? Who? We're going to pay that indie comics guy and all these little shithead reviewers, bloggers, YouTubers, Twitters, whatever the hell. We're going to pay them all. 
to say nice shit about our comic book. That's what we're going to do. I don't want to hear that our comic book is trash on the internet. I just want to hear that it's great because it is great. So pay them off. I don't care. Just pay them off. Wait, you're going to give away the money. Like, that'll leave us broke. Like, I got to eat. Like, I, I have a healthy diet of Pop-Tarts and Blue Milk. I have to keep that lifestyle going. Like, I have to in order to, like, live. You're going to give it away to, to that Andy Comics guy and these other assholes on the internet? They haven't made a comic book. I hate credits. I'm just letting you know. I hate credits. And if you're giving away the money, blame, I blame both of you. Both of you, not me. I'm the editor. I didn't fuck up. I did not drop the ball. I did great. I did great. I pat myself on the back. That's how great a job I did in editing this eight-mile book with superpowers. I freaking roll. I'm going to do a dance now. I do a dance. Wait. Oh, you're serious about giving the money. Still doing my dance. It's my money dance. I don't give a fuck if we're going to be broke when we're done. People do not... People do not need to know that our comic sucks. Because then it's the blame game. Is it the writer? Is it the artist? Is it the editor? Who is to blame when a comic book sucks? People are going to be in... Freaking chat rooms talking about this. Like, who do you blame? The writer, the artist, the editor. Who do you blame when your comic book sucks? And I'll tell you what, gentlemen. I got 50 racks saying it's not going to be me. I'm not taking the fall for this. So we either pay them off, all of them, or I'm blaming you and you, not me. What do you think? Who is to blame when your comic book sucks? Don't say me. I'm still getting paid for this, right? Right? I'm still getting paid for this. Yeah, as long as I get paid, I'm gonna 